Hey guys and welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Francesco and I work for a major US airline. I've been flying for a total of 12 years as a flight attendant. Before we move on, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications because I'll be posting tons of holiday videos in the upcoming month. Also, stay tuned to the end of this video because I'll be telling you guys what my schedule is going to be like for the holidays. So I know a lot of you aspiring flight attendants out there are probably wondering what the flight attendant schedule is like and what it's like during the holidays and I'm here to tell you. So when filling out the application for becoming a flight attendant, one of the very first questions that the airline asks you is if you're willing to work weekends, evenings, and holidays. And of course, we all say yes, 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 we'll work whenever. And then at your face-to-face -face interview with your airline, they ask you again, are you willing to work? Weekends, evenings, and holidays. And of course, we say yes. Fast forward, you are now a flight attendant and you've been working for a few months and the holidays are just around the corner. And you begin to wonder, Will I be able to spend time with my family for the holidays? Will I be off? Now, it is not very likely that as a junior or a newer flight attendant that you'll be able to hold off or request off for a major holiday. Let's just keep it 100% real. It's highly unlikely that you'll be able to be off during a major holiday, especially if you're very new to the airline. It's not impossible, it's just not very likely. As you may know, seniority is everything and super important when working as a flight attendant. And most people wanna be off during the holidays. So of course, a flight attendant with 10 to 30 years plus seniority will be able to request off on the major holidays, such as Thanksgiving coming up, Christmas, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day. They'll be able to hold off all these major holidays that you know we all want to spend time with our families leaving us newer junior younger flight attendants to be working during the holidays it's a sad reality but one that we agreed to when we applied and accepted this position as flight attendants but believe it or not there are lots of great things about working the holidays reason number one passengers are very nice during the holidays especially on the actual holiday like Christmas Day New Year's Day Thanksgiving Day Passengers are really nice to us flight attendants. Sometimes I've even had them bring us like treats and goodies and gift cards and they're just usually very grateful that we're actually there to work on a holiday because they kind of understand and they know that we as flight attendants are away from our families during the holidays and a lot of passengers in the past years I've noticed are usually very grateful to us. And that's one of the main things. Passengers are extra nice to you on a holiday. Reason number two for working the holiday is you get holiday pay. So most airlines will pay holiday pay. I know some airlines pay time and a half when working on a holiday. Some airlines, like my airline, pays you a $75 flat rate just for working that holiday. So yeah, more money. It's a great perk for working a holiday. Reason number three to work a holiday is flights are not full. Flights are not full because people are already where they want to be on Thanksgiving Day or Christmas Day. They're usually, typically, for the most part, already where they want to be on the actual holiday. So most flights are not full. So this means airports and flights will be less crowded, making it an easier work day for us if we have to work during a major holiday. Reason number four is because flight attendants, usually during the holidays, they will become very festive. They'll add little pieces of festive decoration to their uniform, or they'll wear Santa hats, holiday necklaces. A lot of the times, flight attendants will bring like holiday treats to share amongst each other. And I know sometimes in between flights, we'll play holiday music, anything to keep our spirits up and just to be happy and make the best out of the fact that we are working during a holiday and that we're away from our family. So these little things really make working a holiday not so bad. So those were my four reasons as to why working a holiday isn't so bad sometimes. You just gotta make the best of the situation and those are all ways to make the best out of the situation. Sometimes as flight attendants, you can request to fly somewhere fun. You can maybe try to fly to Paris or London or New York or Florida or, you know, try to work a trip that might be more desirable sometimes something that us flight attendants do is to set a date that you're available maybe a few days before the holiday or a few days after to spend time with your family and have a dinner with your family and open presents with your family so usually you have a time that you've set aside to celebrate the holiday with your family even though it's not on the actual day so as you see there are tons of ways to make the best out of this not so great situation now i know a lot of you are curious to know what my holiday schedule is for the upcoming holidays so drum roll please so for the month of November, I am a pretty senior reserve, which means I was able to hold off Thanksgiving Day. Yay! 
So yes, I'm off Thanksgiving Day, which is wonderful, but I work the next day, Black Friday, and I work the entire weekend after Thanksgiving because it's a critical period for all of the airlines because there's a lot of travelers going back and forth. So I'll be working the very next day after Thanksgiving, but it's okay because at least I have Thanksgiving off, so I'm so, so, so grateful for that. So I'll be able to be home that day and cook and eat and get my house ready for Christmas. Now, for the month of December, Christmas Eve, I'll be returning from a flight on Christmas Eve morning, so I'll be landing back here in base around five o'clock in the morning on Christmas Eve day and then I'll have the rest of Christmas Eve to be at home with my family which that's fine because the day that matters to me the most is the 24th and that's the night that me and my family celebrate and then Christmas morning I'll be able to wake up at home but I do work Christmas Day I work Christmas Day afternoon so it's not so bad at least I get to be home in the morning and I work my schedule so that even though I have to work on a holiday that I'm still able to be home at some point during the day that are important to me and then for New Year's Eve, I'll also be returning home on New Year's Eve morning, on the morning of the 31st. I think I'll be arriving around like 7 a.m. in the morning, leaving me all of New Year's Eve at home, and I'm gonna be able to ring in the new year at home. The first, I don't know my schedule yet because our January schedules have not come out yet, but for the first, I'm pretty sure I'll be on reserve. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys posted on that. But needless to say, I am very pleased with my holiday schedule this year. And that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are an aspiring flight attendant, just take these things into consideration. Working the holidays is not so bad. You can always make the best of it. At the end of the day, we have a really, really great job. In the long run, we'll be able to request off and be off during the holidays. Or like I said, just work around it, make the best of the situation. It is not the end of the world. So like I said, it's gonna be the end of this video. Video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't. Turn on that bell for post notifications to be alerted the next time I post a video. I'll be posting lots of holiday videos in the upcoming month. Also, be sure to check out my holiday travel tips and hacks video that I'll be posting right up here and share it to all your friends and family who are going to be traveling this holiday season. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.